Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Falcons going up against the Bears. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 6 matchup. Bears and Falcons coming up here on EA Sports. Week 6 already as we get set for today's matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect an emotional football game here today. We have two teams that are very disciplined, but can they stay that way? When you let emotion get involved, usually sometimes you miss an assignment. And what is that? What happens when you miss an assignment? It usually leads to a big play. So control your emotions is a big deal in this game here today. Bears are ready to run back this kick. The leaders of the NFC South are set now to kick it away and get this game started. again today. He connected on over 60% of his throws last week. First down here. The defense comes out of the dime. Forte is going to take the handoff now for about four. Here's the Bears offense right near the top third in the league when it comes to pass offense The Bears take it from the 23 throwing now to his left the Bears get a first down When you play zone in the NFL what you're trying to do is make the quarterback Hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. The defense gets a sack. The Bears are not going to be happy about this as they get exposed on that offensive line early. Well, look what the offensive line does here. They blow the assignments. They're, they're blocking the wrong guys. They, they let somebody free, and they give up the sack. Bad job. Propped up the football. A recovery by the defense. In on the stop. Coming on to the field, he has been a model of consistency since coming into the league out of Boston College, quarterback Matt Ryan. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league, and Matt Ryan every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. First and goal from the nine. Rock for a loss on that play. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. They've got a rushing attack that's hovering right around league average this season. Second and goal from the 10. Makes the reception. And that's Jennings in on the stop. Tim, when you get down the red zone, you have to be very careful as a quarterback not to turn the football over. Good decision that time by the quarterback. Gets the completion, and they get a nice, solid pickup that time. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Toss to the outside. Oh, wow, another couple inches, and that would have been six points for the offense, but he just falls short. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Up, Goal line defense on the field. Midway through the first. Runs it across. Touchdown. How about 
about that. The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking, gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. Falcons are about to kick the football back, but it's the offense celebrating and the defense doing all the setup. That fumble recovery gave them great field position setting up the score. The Bears are ready to return the kick. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. The Bears decked out in a lot of pink, and we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Second down, three to go. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. Cutler's able to show off his footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer, gets himself in very good position to throw the football. The Bears were heartbroken last week, and they've set themselves up for another repeat feeling here today. Jim, this is what the NFL is all about. There are a lot of tight games, so when you get in situations like this, you can't crack under the pressure. And here's the Falcons' defense. It's a unit that knows how to stop the opponent's rushing attack. The defense gets the sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. It's Forte in the backfield. The Bears from the 22. Fought for the first down. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. The Bears take it from the 43. Looks to his left. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. When you see the defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver, you have a corner route on. Make sure you throw it towards the sideline. Let the wide receiver out on the defensive back. And he makes a nice catch there. Intercepted. Good piece of tackling. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Face first down. Matt Ryan under center. To Jones. He's turning ahead. Jones tackled down at the 43. In the one here in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. First down following the long play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He makes the catch on his way. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit up. They are aggressive. They take risks. And what a game. The Falcons line up now for the point after. Extra point was good. Ryan 
certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Turn this time as he takes a knee. The Bears offense ready now to see what it can do. Forte's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The tackle was made. Matt Forte is just one tremendous runner in the NFL. That time he picks up big yards. He just keeps getting the job done and goes unnoticed. I don't know why, but he does. First and ten, Matt Forte trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. He's tackled right at the 48. After running it, it's second down. Cutler set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. Out to the left. It's Bennett, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Keeps it here, eyeing that left side, pulls it in. Wilson's there to take it down. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Bears take it from the 43. Cutler's unable to connect that time. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. All right, listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. The Bears take it from the 43. Cutler gets it to Matt Forte, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. The Bears will take the snap from the 40. Pass is intercepted. He's brought down. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. The Falcons take it from the 38. Out of the pocket. He'll throw it over the middle. Gains 15. And we've reached the two-minute warning. First down. Offense ready for the snap. Nickel formation for the defense here. White's got the catch and the first. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man cover. Staying with the passing game on first down. Brings it into his body. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Well, when you play in this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. And Jennings there to take him down. Falcons are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Ryan's been on the mark to this point. He has. He's one of the better throwers in the NFL. When you give him time, like he's had here so far today, he is going to put it right on target. Power surge. Touchdown. Oh, you just love it. As 
a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first and goal and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. He made it. The Bears will have plenty of work to do in the second half, but they'll want to try and cut into the lead here before the intermission. The score's 21 to 0. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Bears come out for the next possession. First down at the 20. It's Bennett. Bennett's tackled down at the 29. The Bears signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. That leads us to second down. Cutler's got everybody split out wide. situation Marshall's lined up now as a slot receiver and they bring down the quarterback and it's a three and out for the offense That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. Butler will be called on now to punt the football. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Cox is there to make the tackle. It's first down as they head to the line. Dropping back three. He'll fire it out to the left. Jones got it. And a first. The Falcons use another timeout here. And they have one left. First down here after the completion. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. White's got it. First down. A timeout charge to the offense. Lining up for the field goal. He's four for four on the year. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Falcons played well en route to a victory last week, and today it's been more of the same. The Bears will have to pick it up if they want to come away with the win. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Bears opening up on offense. On the run, the ball comes loose. He'll pick up only a few yards here. Now 
following the fumble. What play coming up here, and he'll go for a score. Falcons up by a touchdown. Bears, now they have it up to 45. The pass ends up being picked off. Morris is happy to come away with the pick, ending the draw. Offense on the field now after the pick. Ryan's going to complete a pass into coverage. He gone as he sprints into the end zone. That puts them on top by 14. Third down, inches to go. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Trufant's reading the play and comes away with it, ending the draw. Now following the pick, Jackson's going to take it off the right side. And he'll take it in for a touchdown. The lead grows to 21. So that will bring our halftime report to a close. We'll go back now to the Georgia Dome for the start of the third quarter. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down coming up. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. Gets the handle here. Brought down after a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Matt Ryan under center. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. The Falcons lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Jackson's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's why right. keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Falcon snap it at the 36. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. He's scrambling now. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the offense didn't pick up the first down that time. They're pretty happy the way everything turned out because that pass could have been intercepted, and you give an interception up on third down, and that is bad. And it's a fake. They're running a fake on the money. That's a gain of 10. They come to the line, and it's first down. And now they're going to go with the draw play. That picks up about three. Jackson's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down and seven. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And that'll gain just a few yards. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Matt Ryan under center. The Falcons have it at the 44. Gets away from the pressure. And he's thrown to the ground. We got to give that defense in front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. The fake is on. And they're looking to pick up the first. Throws to the right. And looking underneath. This will go incomplete. First down on the way. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. We see now just some of the many hits this quarterback has taken. 
during a challenging day for him, Phil. Jim, it's very understandable why he is not playing well today. Think about it. When you have less time to make a decision on where to throw the football, you are not going to have a great day. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Cutler has got it in the gun. Looking to go deep. No one's going to get him now. And in for the touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding him. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. Matt Forte gets it here. So they get the touchdown. But they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Falcons now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. The defense comes out in the nickel. Now first and 10. Has his target, and that's Tillman in on the stop. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Tillman's there that time for the tackle. Third down now. Jackson, middle. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. Well, one of the hardest things to do, and I think, in the NFL now is third short is run the football and pick up yards. That time, nice job by the offensive line. They showed their power, and they picked up the first down. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Makes the catch in the open field. Taken down at the 33. Looking ahead, the Falcons will be on the road in Baltimore next week, while the Bears will be playing at home next week. Jackson's lined up as the single back. First down at the 33. Gives it to Steven Jackson. And Williams in on the tackle. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Ryan under center back to the ground now on first down and picks up maybe three or four. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Houston's there to make the tackle. The Bears' defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play. They were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for a very short game. Ryan from the gun. Trying to work that left side. That's a third down conversion, a rare sight so far today. The Falcons had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. First and goal from the four. Ryan gives it up. Powers his way across. Touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. try on the way.
makes the PAT. The Bears have been flat out manhandled so far. Perhaps their special teams unit can change the momentum of this one. They need something to go their way. The score is 31 to 6. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Sparkly takes the knee in the end zone. First down here. Split backfield here. Cutler steps back into the gun. And he's forced to the ground. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. Second and long. Looking to the right side and throwing. With two hands, he has it. Fumble. And now we reach the two-minute warning. They recovered the fumble, but now face third and seven here. Jay Cutler will take the snap out of the gun. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. How about the defense on that play? They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. Offense lines up here. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Oh, it almost picked off that time. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second and goal from the nine. Throw to the left. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. What a job by the offense. So little time left. The drive down the field and score, that just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. The Falcons have the football resting on the tee, and they're about to send it down the way. What a stand by the defense. Turning it over on downs and giving the offense a great starting point from which they took advantage and put points on the board. They'll take it at the 20. The Bears are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. And Morgan's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First down at the 20. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's second down coming up. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. And he's sacked again. The Bears are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Cutler steps back into the gun. Reaches out and snatches it. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Hester's got a chance this time. Tackles made. The Falcons are getting set for their next possession. Hey, 
First and ten. Jackson's got it on the handoff. Keeps his legs moving. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Offense lines up here. Second down and five. Keeps it here. Throwing now to his left. Breaks at the tackle. That's a gain of six. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. Ferguson's there to make the stop. Second down and three following that nice run. Jones is in the slot. Play fake. Got the completion. Has 12 on this play. Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Offense ready for action coming out of their timeout. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. Back to the air here on first down. Wide open for the catch. Game 13. The Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Chip shot here. The kick is good. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, 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 it's a wonderful time. memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.
Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches to come their way. It's Pierce's Ravens going up against Jackson's Falcons. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this Week 7 matchup.